French people in town. So. Yeah. Teammate with the Spurs, huge rivalry, Spain, France, Dirk Nowitzki. You're a great friend, and uh, Texas rivalry was fierce. D Wade, yeah. and people don't know that, but uh, he's my little brother, favorite player. So every time he will come to the house and be like, Dwayne, Wayne! <laughs> and you'll be like, man, can you stop it? You're my own brother. <laughs> no, we won one, so we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Becky Hammond. <laughs> she's, like my brother, but, uh, she's like my big sister. We have a great relationship. Thanks for all your advice through the years. And I'm so happy to go to the hall with you. It's crazy. Uh, first I was told that it was the first time that a player and a coach going at the same time to the Hall of Fame, so that's pretty cool. For the rest of that, yes, I can get rid of him, it's crazy. For the rest of the inductees, it's an honor to go with you guys in the in Hall of Fame. Thank you. So, uh, my presenters. Uh, Tim Duncan. Uh, I, started, uh, I started writing my speech uh, last week, and I was trying to think, uh, like, why to me so special? Why to me so special? Like, it was like I couldn't sleep. You know, why to me so special? And uh, at the same time, it's easy, and at the same time, it's hard. So I will start with the obvious. To me, he's the best power forward ever. Yeah. 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 He has a special power, superpower with his eyes. I'm going to explain. He never talked to get the ball. Never. He'll just look at me. And when you're 19 years old, coming from France, it's very scary when Tim Duncan looks at you. I play with a lot of teammates who will complain to get the ball, you know, oh, Bruce Bowen, like, oh, Tony. <laughs> Timmy will just look at me, and I'll go to Pop, I'm like, Pop, you give me the look. And then Pop will be like, you really look at you? I'm like, yeah. And if you want a point guard tomorrow, we need to call a play for him right now. And so that's why, to me, Timmy is special, and he's one of my presenters. some of his passes, because with Manu you have two passes. You have the legend one that everybody will talk about, it was unbelievable, and the one that went to the fans, to the stands. <laughs> you know, his favorites, it was a lot of those in the first two years, so we had a, a rough start, you know, with Manu, and a rough beginning, you know, with Argentina too, you know, the, the, actually the Argentina media, um, they thought that I didn't like Manu, I don't pass the ball enough to Manu, but I never really understand that because Pop is the coach. It's not my fault if Pop calls all the plays for Timmy. <laughs> so I needed an ally, and Manu was my ally at the beginning. So everybody knows that, but I'm going to say it again. My rookie year, Timmy didn't talk to me, my rookie year. And people think I'm crazy when I say that, but it's true. Timmy don't like French people. <laughs> he doesn't like a French accent. And said not until I play against Gary Payton, who's one of my favorite point guards. Where's Gary Payton? Yeah. Yeah. Gary! It's not until I play good in my rookie year against Gary Payton, if I need to say one word, actually two words, three words, I'll remember. Basically, he will be all right. So, 
We all good now. A little Frenchie, a little guy from Argentina, and a swimmer from the islands. Who knew? We won four championships together. And it was a <laughs> Thanks for convincing him, and 
uh, I will not be here without you. Thank you, RC. I love you. And I'll put Sam Presti on the same group with you because Sam was there too with you. Thank you. You might be the only guy who watched all my shots my whole career. And uh, it was very scary to me when uh, you decided to try to change my shots to be consistent. And uh, my first year working with you, I made the All-Star team. So thanks for everything. Obviously, I had a lot of great teammates. Uh, David Robinson, where's David? David Robinson. <laughs> Patty Mills, uh, George Hill, uh, Steve Smith. I can say a lot of my teammate Bruce Bowen. You are here with Growing Up in France. We were watching you with my brothers. You always took care of me and you always had my back. Uh, Michael Finley, I forgot to mention you on my jersey of retirement. Forgot you. And I told you I'm not going to forget in my Hall of Fame. Uh, it's okay you're on the Maverick side, but remember you won't be I'll tell a quick story on, on Michael Finley, he's one of my favorite teammates. Uh, in 2006, he decided to come to the Spurs to win a championship, because that's what you do when you come to the Spurs to win a championship. Good and in 2006, we lost against the Mavericks. <laughs> <laughs> So 2007, my only motivation the whole year, it was to try to bring you a championship. And uh, I remember when we beat Cleveland, sorry LeBron, when we, we beat Cleveland, uh, it was priceless to see your face and that uh, we got you a championship. It starts with him, Coach Pop, you're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Uh, I, can say, I, can, I can say a lot of stuff about you, Uh The way you cursed at me and the, the language that you used to, to, to push me, but I have my kids here, so I'm just going to keep it simple. At the end of the day, you threw me in the fire. I'm 19 years old. You, in five games into my rookie year, you put me in the back of the plane, you call me and you're like, you starting tomorrow. I was like, really? I was like, did you talk to Timmy? <laughs> French people, so I was like, you know, and Pop's like, you'll be fine, you're starting, and the rest is history. You've always been the second dad to me, Pop. Everything you did for me and my family, I appreciate everything. Thank you, Pop, I love you. Uh, we celebrated, um, two weeks ago, we celebrated our 10 year anniversary of our first gold medal, the only gold medal we won with the French team. And uh, it was a great feeling. I always thought that if I didn't win with the French national team, that my career was not going to be successful. I was obsessed with winning a, a gold medal. So it's true. Sometimes I wish that Paul Gasol was not born because <laughs> I, I would have won a lot more gold medals. But sooner, but because of you, you pushed me every year to come back with the national team. So I had some great teammates, uh, Rudy Gobert, Nicolas Batum. Uh, Jan Mahimi, but uh, my two partner in crimes, Boris Diaw and Ronnie Choria. <laughs> to the Hornets, I want to thank uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, he was my idol growing up. He's the reason why I wanted to play basketball. He was my inspiration. I had poster going in my whole room. And uh, you know, people always say, uh, never meet your idol. But for me, it was the opposite. It was unbelievable. And now I had a great relationship with him and I can call him a, a friend. So thanks for Michael and thanks for the audience organization. <laughs> to finish, uh, I feel very blessed. It was an unbelievable journey. I never thought somebody like me can experience something like that. So for all the kids who are watching, keep dreaming big. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs>